Hey, how's it going? So, I got a lot of requests to essentially do a small little tutorial on how I get my PC to look like this. I apologize for the background being a complete mess right here. Um, so yeah, this is this short little tutorial. I put the icons down here, and I'll put a link in the description where you can download RetroBar, OpenShell, and Rocket Dock. But essentially, what you do is first we'll go into RetroBar, which I think I already have open here. Yeah, obviously I already have it open. Um, and in RetroBar, I decided to pick Windows XP Royale. Um, you have all these different options. And that'll change your taskbar down here. I think you can go and do the, what's it? You can do Vista. Um, you could do just the regular old blue. I, I kind of like the way that Royale looks, so I keep it as that. And then you could also sort of like tinker with it, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, that's how you do the taskbar. Uh, there's all these different settings. If you want to play around, you know, figure out what you like more. Um, for this right here, this is going to be part of OpenShell to get your, um, I guess, start menu to kind of like this. So when you download OpenShell, you'll have different style options here that you can do. And I think menu look is where you can kind of like change the color and the settings. These are my settings right here if you want to just kind of look at them and then copy it all over. And start bar, you can't really change that because you have retro bar which already kind of covers over um, the start. But if I do like classic with two columns and I open it up, it'll look like that. I usually just keep it on the classic style. Just have it nice, nice and uniform looking like that. And finally, we have Rocket Dock up here, which link in the description for that. And Rocket Dock, it looks a little bit different when you first install it. What you can do is you can go into icon settings and change each icon to make them look more Fruger Arrow esque, I guess. Um, you could also target and pick a folder where you have everything kind of saved and make your own custom little icons. So, yeah. That's um, essentially the tutorial. It's pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions or, you know, need to figure out how to do this or if there's, like, something missing, I don't know, please leave a comment and I'll try to figure it out. But, yeah, that's essentially how you get your computer to look arrow or fruitier arrow. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.